Hello and welcome back to Listen Lewis. We don't got it. We get it. No, we just do that at the end. <laughs> okay, so this Popeye's chicken sandwich has been all of the rage uh, since its return. Me and Lewis said we got to do a taste test of this thing. So here we are. Popeyes. I got the classic chicken sandwich. There's the packaging. I got the classic. So for my side, I got him some mac and cheese. I don't know if he's going to have any of the sandwich. He's more of kind of a chicken nugget type guy than chicken sandwich guy. So. Let's see what this thing's all about. Okay, so you open it up. It's got this, uh, obviously, uh, has this foil bag, just like Chick-fil-A. Oh, yeah, that mac and cheese look good. <laughs> okay, the unveiling. Very nice. It's bigger than I thought it was going to be. We gotta get this spork. Got you got it. Smells good. I smell the pickles first and foremost, or maybe. And I smell the mac and cheese. You smell that mac and cheese? Let's see. Okay, it looks like a big, looks like a giant chicken strip I've got on my bun. <laughs> but let's give it a try here. Just dive in. Dive in. Wee. This taste is really uh, icky. Uh-oh. The mac and cheese taste test is not going great. Icky, you're saying? Mm-hmm. But I still like it. Yummy. So... I already have dinner now. Yeah. This. Um, my first impressions are a little bit disappointment. I mean, maybe it was built up so high to where nothing is going to meet uh, that standard, but it's not. Everyone was talking about how crispy the, the breading was. It's not really crispy. I don't know if uh, I just got a bad one or not. It, mine... It's not really mine crispy. is bad too. Dad, mine is bad too. It's just kind of uh, sliding around on me a lot. Yeah. And mine is icky. And that's what it looks like. And mine is icky. Yours is icky? Well, that's not good. I mean, it's not bad. It's definitely not better than Chick-fil-A's. Um, oh, snap. I do like how they give you some thicker cut pickles than some of the other restaurants. It gives a, it gives a nice crunch. I think whatever this mayo-type sauce is is not really that good. And this, I don't know what they put on this. Yeah, the sandwich is just kind of falling apart on me. And this, something is on here. Which is part of the frustration. Um, I would say it, this is an average to good chicken sandwich. I say this is not good. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. Mm -hmm. Am I going to be craving it? Am I going to be back at Popeye's at 10.30 in the morning tomorrow? No, definitely not. Me either. Let's talk, let's talk. Let me think more about this. Let's talk more about the mac and cheese.
What do you what do you like and what do you dislike about this Popeye's mac and cheese? Do you like the taste of it? No. No, and what don't you like about the taste? I don't know. Can I try some? Yeah. Let me try some of this mac and cheese. Not bad. The pasta's overcooked a little bit. Cheese is nice and creamy. Do you prefer this mac and cheese or the blue box? Blue box. Blue box. Wow. Yeah, I think the main problem is the texture because the pasta itself is overcooked. It's overcooked meat. Overcooked? Yeah. It means they cooked it too long. Oh. Some final words on the chicken sandwich. I do like the bun. Uh, the ah, bun is very meat. nice and it's very generously buttered. <laughs> which, uh, you know, doesn't hurt the situation. So, in closing, you know, if you want to see what the hype's about, if you're curious, go grab one. Um, I don't think you're going to be upset at it. But definitely overrated uh, for sure. And uh, we'll leave it at that. So thank you for watching another episode of Listen Lewis. And don't forget, if you don't got it, get it. Because we got this. Because we got this.